G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of our budget camper trailer build. For this episode we're going to be focusing on uh, cleaning it up a little bit, giving it a new coat of paint, trying to make it look a little bit better. Uh, and also I'm going to hand over to Kim in just a sec. She's going to run you through the kitchen setup that we're running. Um, so what gear we use, what fridge we use, our pantry and sort of dry food storage, what fridge we're running uh, and then all the gear we use and how, we, how we're using it. I'll hand over to Kim and I'll see you guys probably at the end. Cheers later. So, welcome to our little setup. Kids, kid things, all the things. So, this is our current situation when it comes to a kitchen. Current situation. We are going to put this bad boy on a slide, so it makes it a little bit easier to come, uh, take in and out. Harper, please don't touch that. Anaconda had this a few a few months ago, so we've been using it now for a little while. Why can you do it? Here, take this. Bop, bop. Harps. Yeah, take the water. take that. Um, so we like using this on a weekend, pretty much. Cook some pancakes on this bad boy. It's a good time. Does some good pancakes. Saturdays are for pancakes in the Chandler Van Vliet household. We have our 60 litre King's fridge that Luke will be soon doing a review on. That's on. We have a done, we have installed a slide for this bad boy. So we'll let you know how it goes. We do currently have a couple of drawers that did come with the trailer when we first purchased it. So we've got one drawer for plates, cups, pots, pans, cutlery, little bits and bobs because you know, mozzie season. Some lights for the eggs. We have some dry food storage, cups of tea, coffee, bags, rubbish bags. So that's a good time. We are wanting to add a couple of drawers here for a little bit of extra storage. We don't know, haven't quite figured out the configuration yet because we are wanting to add a little bit more for Luke's things as well. Um, but we are wanting to add another table, add some more bench space, either going this way or turn it into an L. We are just waiting on some quotes. We have gotten it quoted up. We're just waiting on them to come back. So we'll see what those quotes come back or it's gonna be a DIY situation. But the trailer has enough storage that if we wanted to run some trundles or some trestle tables, we can do that. Just give the kids things, gas bottle. Little thing, it's enough for the weekends. And can't really get away much with work and our children. But yeah. We're getting there, we're planning our little trips. We'll actually be back on the coast. Luke's new battery system that he's so in love with at the moment. Um, yeah, we're gonna be back on the coast next week. So that'll be good as well. A little bit of a getaway. Here we are in good old West Wallong. Seems to be a good stop for the Grey Nomads. Seems a bit, it seems it's actually quite quiet. You've got your barbecue, your water over there. You have your toilet block, dump point, a little bit of West Wylong and its gold history. I'm gonna see if there's a poker stop. You know, Pokemon things. So yeah, that's our current kitchen situation with the fridge the cooker and all the things if you have any tips or tricks let us know we'd much appreciate it on how you attach tables or if you just go with trestle tables what you do we'll be getting a collapsible sink as well yeah and for water we're going to attach we haven't quite figured that out yet we'll work on the logistics of it we're going to attach a couple of water I don't know what they're called right now 
Luke, can you add a little what they are? Uh, attach these here. So we'll have enough water to go through the short trips, long trips, all trips. Um, yeah. Because obviously having small children, they like playing in water. And it's hot where we are right now. So if we do go for a little weekend, I'm sure we're going to be going a lot of river camping and they'll need baths. But not a bad little setup. It'll get us through what we needed to do for the time being. But yeah. Put a comment down below. Let us know on Instagram if you have any tips or tricks on how we can modify this kitchen to add a little bit more bench space. What kind of drawers we should put here for a little bit of extra storage. It will be inbuilt. It's just we needed to get something to put swags and awnings on and all the things but let us know hi family
Looks like that, um, those big caliber toolboxes. guys so there you have it um, that's pretty much what we're running with at the moment anyway guys hope you liked the video as always any questions comments tips um, anything you want to see that uh, we're not really giving you at the moment leave it below leave it in the comment section there um, and we'll try our best to put it in there on the next video so um, what's next you'll have to join us next time next time is going to be a full 12 volt rundown um, so oh, that's going to be interesting I better not stuff that up. We'll see for the 12 volts, um, the 12 volt system rundown of what we use, where we got it, how much we paid for it. And remember, we're not sponsored by anyone. We pay for everything ourselves. So everything that you see from us is our honest opinion. Bye right, guys, see you later. <laughs>